What's going on YouTube? Geosnorid here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's stuck in recovery mode or if it's no longer booting and also how to put a phone in recovery mode if you need it in that mode using a program called Rayboot by Tenorshare. Now this program looks like this. It's pretty simple to use. You just plug your device and you will be able to use the functions. So this works for both iOS 12, iOS 11, iOS 10. It also works with older versions like even iOS 7.1.2 we're going to test it with. So if you want to get the program, you can get it directly from Tenorshare. There is a free download available in here for both Windows and Mac OS. And of course, all you have to do is to follow their tutorials in here. This is pretty much the recovery mode. This is how it looks like. And it's pretty much a mode in which the phone only shows the iTunes logo, which can be that rainbowish style in there, or it can be blue, it can be red, depending on the iOS version. And of course, there is the widescreen, there is the iPhone is disabled, stuck in an update, and this program can fix pretty much any of these modes. So if you want to learn more, you can go ahead in here and read their tutorial, which is written and shows you exactly how to do every single procedure. So the help and support is definitely available in here, but I'm going to show you how to do it with the iOS 12, iOS 11, and also with iOS 7.1.2, just to prove the fact that the program works with very old devices as well. So I have an iPhone 7 Plus in here running iOS 12.1 that is no longer powering on correctly, it just goes to the recovery mode, which means that it shows the Apple logo and then it directly shows the iTunes logo and the power cable and it will not boot from that point. Now what I can do is to press the exit recovery mode in here and hope that my phone will boot normally. If it doesn't and goes back away into the recovery mode, you can try the more advanced repair operating system function in here, which will pretty much go to this screen, which can definitely fix the problem, but you should keep in mind that it may remove your data because it has to reinstall iOS. The uh, normal exit recovery mode in here will not reinstall iOS, so your data will be fine. But in case that one doesn't work, you will have to use this one here, which you're going to press fix now, and it's going to give you the instructions on how to redo your iOS. Everything is done automatically, you just have to press download and leave the phone connected. Now, if that doesn't work either, you're going to have to go with deep repair, which this one will definitely remove your data. The standard mode might preserve your data because it just tries to update the iOS, but the deep repair will definitely remove all the data and you will have to make sure that it has enough power so the battery is charged or of course let it connect it properly. So we don't need any of this for the moment, so I'm going to just go with the exit recovery mode and see how it goes. So we press ahead in here and the phone has all already rebooted and I should be able to see it running normally and of course if that operation succeeded I will get a button here to enter recovery mode since I'm no longer in recovery mode. And yeah, the phone seems to be booting now normally, which is definitely great. I'm going to try it out with a completely different model. So as you can see, it says exited recovery mode successfully and your device is back to normal, which is definitely great. Now I'm going to try it with a completely different device, which in this case, it's an iPod Touch 6th generation, a pretty older device actually, but it's still supported and it's running iOS 11. So this one also goes into recovery mode and it would refuse to boot. I'm going to press in here and as you can see, there you go, the iPod rebooted. So the program is actually very well and it does support a lot of modes to fix your device and to enter or exit recovery mode in case you need it. And as you can see, it worked with this one as well. Now the challenge is to see if the program would work with a very, very old iPhone. This is an iPhone 4 that I have in here and I'm going to connect it. It runs iOS 7.1.2. We're currently at iOS 12.1 as the latest version. So this is very, very old, but I want to see if the program can handle it. And as you can see, I connected the phone now and it does the same thing. It shows the iTunes logo, but in this case, the iTunes logo is actually uh, blue. And as you can see, this device is so old, the Mac OS needs to update its database in order to work with it. But anyways, the program seems to have uh, recognized it as an iPhone 4, so I can press exit recovery mode and see if it worked. And yep, my phone rebooted and it actually worked. It shows the Apple logo and I think it's going to boot normally. So yeah, the program works quite fine. You can get the program from Tenorshare and as I said, there is a free version available which allows you to fix the phone in recovery mode or put the phone in recovery mode. The deep fixing is part of the Rayboot Pro, but for exiting and entering in the recovery mode, you can definitely use the free version that is available in here. So you can exit and enter recovery mode. If you want to fix the iPhone stuck on the Apple logo 
or boot loop and so on, you definitely need to get the Pro. But anyways, if you just want to fix your phone, which is in recovery mode with no data loss, with just one click, you can just use the free version. Check it out in the link below. So yeah, thank you for watching and thanks to Tenorshare for sponsoring this video. Definitely a nice program to have and definitely a nice program to check out, especially since it has a free version. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.